I'm just curious. My dad is here today. He's 91 years old. How many of you know Cliff Myrick, my father? Look at this, Dad. Look at this. Thank you. Um, my dad just shared with me something with my little sister, brought this to me. This is a game ball from 47 years ago. He's kept it ever since to give it to me at a certain time. I guess it was just today. So I have all of our names are on this, uh, the baseball team. So anyway, um, what I would like to do, our coach, Ray Atkins, passed away some time ago. So unfortunately, unlike Mary Hines, we can't have him do this. So um, I have the opportunity. Um, what I would like to do, um, we, we had an interesting team. Uh, we were very tight knit and that didn't happen by accident. Our coach Ray Atkins made that happen. And I didn't find that out until just recently. He would do things with the sophomores and juniors that were on our team. Uh, he would have them play JV games and uh, come to the varsity game just to watch pretty much. Uh, they were there if they were needed, but um, he did those kinds of things to make sure he understood what kind of team he had. Um, we were well oiled our 72 season. We had played together, uh, some of us since, since uh, uh, Little League. So, but what I would like to do is introduce uh, the ball players, and I'm gonna tell you a little bit about what I remember about them. I'm hoping you guys are gonna be a little bit kind to me, so I'll do the best I can. But, uh, Priscilla Castro, this is Frank Castro's wife. Would you please stand? <laughs> Frank Castro passed away uh, a while back, not that long ago, actually. Uh, if there was a leader of our team, it would have been probably him. Um, he was a star pitcher. He threw the ball hard. He was very accurate. Uh, he was a good hitter. Um, Frank had a little bit of a stutter and he was very quiet, but a leader he was. Um, I was so privileged to play with him, Priscilla, so. Um, Mike Odom, would you please stand? Mike, are you here? Mike, thank you. Mike was a center fielder, center fielder for us. I think he had, if I'm not mistaken, Mike, 458 batting average or something like, some crazy number like that. Yeah. Um, he also pitched for us. He has one of the most incredible arms I've ever seen. Uh, he threw harder than a lot of pros do when he was in high school. He once threw a ball accidentally over the backstop at Cherry Field. That's a 35-foot backstop. From center field, he did that. I couldn't believe he did that. Anyway, but Mike was an incredible hitter and uh, a very good fielder in center field. Um, Ron Hassey, how many of you know Ron Hassey? I'm just curious, yeah. Uh, Ronnie couldn't be with us here today. Um, Ronnie was one of two ball players that we had that went on to play professional ball. Ron has three World Series rings. He's uh, the only catcher in history to catch two perfect games. Um, he played for six, seven different teams? I can't even remember how many different teams he played on. He started with Cleveland. Um, but anyway, Ronnie was funny. He, he played shortstop in, at high school, and then he uh, went on to U of A, and he played catcher there. And none of us on the Tucson High School baseball team would have ever thought that Ronnie would have been a catcher. He, because, well anyway, he just, we just didn't think so. <laughs> um, but uh, anyway, he, he, he went on to U of A, and he, he was a, uh, an All-American, and then he went on to, to play pro ball. Uh, I just wish he could be here today, but he, he can't, so he's still working. Big Al, would you please stand up? <laughs> I have a personal bone to pick with Big Al. He doesn't know this. When we were playing Little League together against each other, I was a pitcher and I was playing up against his team. And Big Al comes up and I'm pitching and he's batting and he gets a ball 
further than I'd ever seen a ball hit over center field, and I'm watching this ball go, and I just experienced my first home run as a pitcher, and it was Big Al. <laughs> so Big Al went on also to play at the U of A. He was an excellent ball player for us as well as them. Uh, he played first base. He also pitched. Um, the thing about Big Al is that he was a clutch hitter. He, he hit the ball. Well, he hit the ball that won us the state championship. Went over the big green wall over Rendezvous Park, which is a professional ball field, into the pool, which was retrieved, which he has. <laughs> so he had that ball. So thanks, Al. Uh, little Al, would you please stand up? Where? Yeah. <laughs> Not that much littler either, by the way. But thanks. <clears throat> Little Al was our catcher, and he was, in my opinion, the best catcher of any team at the time. He, he had a strange ability to kneel, his catching, to kneel and throw someone out at second base. He didn't stand up to do that. He just, he just kneeled, he would reach back pretty far for a catcher and nail these people all the time. At, at second base or third base, whatever they were stealing, he would nail them. And, uh, but the one of the things I want to say about, about Little Al, too, it actually is a story that he and I kind of shared that John Ortiz mentioned, but we were playing Camelback, and Camelback had a flamethrower. They had a guy that could really throw heat. And we hadn't seen anything like that before. So we're playing this game, and it's seven inning, seventh inning, and we're down one to zero. And uh, we're not sure what's going to happen. Anyway, I got up, and I hit a home run. And then, so it was one to one. <laughs> Thank you. And then little Al got up and hit his only home run in the season against that flamethrower and won the game two to one for us. The strangest thing, you know. So thanks, Al. John Felix, would you please stand? John, hi. John was a fellow outfielder, he played left field. He, uh, in fact, he's the one that reminded me of that story, but um, John was, John, I just realized uh, recently that he was our, our junior. He was not a senior in our senior class. Um, I, and he played like he was a senior like anybody else on our team, but uh, he was a very good ball player, very good hitter, very calm, very quiet. John, I don't think I heard you say five words that during that, during that season, but, but you showed it all with your, <laughs> anyway, um, Tony, figure up. <laughs> Tony was a pitcher for us. He was a, our second pitcher. Um, Tony had one of the things he he was very good with is, is he had different balls that he threw. One of them, and he threw them very accurately. His he was very efficient. Um, he very rarely made mistakes, uh, he was very accurate, but he threw a knuckleball, amongst other things. He threw all kinds of stuff, but he, compared to Squinky, our, our Frank Castro, our pitcher, where Frank was fast, Tony was through garbage. <laughs> he threw, <laughs> he threw, and he threw it well, <laughs> he did. Uh, Tony was also a very good hitter. He also played uh, second base uh, at times. Um, so I think that's all I can think about. <laughs> Henry Fossil. <laughs> Henry was our third baseman and was the fastest person on our team. We were to have someone steal second, it was going to be Henry. And he was, I think he probably batted up in the, in the batting, batting lineup as well because of that, I guess. I can't remember. Um, he's very good, very good third baseman, very accurate. Um, I'm trying to think of everything else I can remember about Henry Fossil. <laughs> he's still looking handsome, I'll tell you that much. He's still looking good. Oh, uh, Roy Castillo. Roy Castillo? 
Greg Castillo was our second string catcher, um, and he, he did a very good job himself, also a very good hitter. I had the honor of beating his sister one time. <laughs> anyway. Uh, Joe Romero. I gotta keep this right because Joe's a police officer and he can arrest me. <laughs> Joe, um, I forgot what position you played. You told me like five times. That's right. Oh, he played behind Ronnie, Ron Hassey. That's right. Yeah, I'm sorry. Um, but he was also, now were you a sophomore or a sophomore when we were seniors? Yeah. So he was one of two, two sophomores on our team. None of us knew that, because they all played the ball, played the game like they were seniors. And uh, I didn't know that until just recently. So anyway, thanks for all you did, <laughs> Joe. Um, and me, I have to put my glasses on to read what I wrote. Okay, I played right field and first base. Um, Oh, I had a 333 batting average during the playoffs. I remember that much. <laughs> um, so in conclusion, I would like to thank the induction committee for letting us all, all of our inductees, to share a little bit of their memories for all of you. It, it really made it nice for us to feel and go back in time. So thank you so much.